Hey everybody, it's Saturday morning. Um, just needed to finish up a little part of a short block for a customer this morning and I thought I'd show it to you real quick because it's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, we'll whip this thing around here. And uh, so this is a Sunny's CNN block. This is a 959 ginormous five inch and three quarter stroke crankshaft, five inch, three quarter. Um, anyways, they hurt it and we needed to put a sleeve in it. So we put that sleeve in it and machined it and got the old ring back in her. And uh, she's ready to go back. They put a rack in it and uh, run it some more. Anyways, just one of the things we worked on down here at Westside. This is like, uh, these things are kind of cool to me. They're different than 959 cubic inch. Um, just uh, big, barely fits in our equipment, but it fits and we can make it happen. Um, so anywho, hope everybody's having a good day. It's a little bit of what we've been doing down here. Hey everybody, it's Saturday night. We're in the shop tonight cutting a few things out on the water jet. I thought I'd show you real quick. Um, well, that's a 69 Bronco that we're working on putting some fuel injection on. Anyways, uh, thought I'd show you what I'm doing real quick. We're making a couple um, manifold tops for um, big 959 um, inch uh, Sunny's motors, kind of like what I showed you today that we were working on at work. Um, so he had this top, um, but he wanted a different center. And then he had this top and wanted a different center. So they're just swip swaps and centers in different size tops. So there's one we got cut out on the water jet. It doesn't need the burst panels anymore um, cause it's on fuel injection. And then for the big twin carburetor, that's the one we're going to cut out next. So I got it all drawn up and we made a few changes. So, uh, get the water jet fired up here and uh, show you a little bit of the cutting um, and we'll get this thing knocked out. Alright, we'll rinse this off, see what we got. Not too bad. The holes are undersized so that just in case it's not 100% perfect, you can move it a little bit. Um, but they all need to be drilled out in a drill press. But they're close and the holes around the clover get tapped anyways because that's actually the carburetor hold down bolt. So anyways, uh, water jet's working pretty good. If you guys need anything cut, give me a shout. I'm trying to keep this thing busy.
Saturday, we're down here at the shop. This is a weekend after Las Vegas and uh, getting ready for Pomona next weekend. Got the dog at the shop with me, but this morning, um, I was helping Steve, guy that works here, does like our headporting programs and does a bunch of work down here. But this is his personal motor. Um, I think I've talked about it before. We've had it on the dyno a couple times. So it's a 454 cubic inch LS, 13.8 um, uh, to one on uh, 110 octane VP or Sunoco. Um, he has uh, built himself a new set of headers. So we wanted to see what the difference was. And these headers did make up um, a little bit over our normal dyno headers for an LS. He picked up like eight foot pounds of torque and five, six horsepower. So um, anyways, we were just testing it. This thing will be on fuel injection eventually. We've been doing some testing um, and we're gonna make some changes, but coil on plug, it's a really pretty nice piece and doing really good for what it is. So I'll uh, have it come out here and uh, that's my torque graph. I do a live torque graph. Um, so I can see where it's at if I have to get out of it, if something's going awry. Uh, but there's the numbers, several poles, but making over 900 horse. So you can call it a 900 horse. Um, so it's making two horsepower per cube or just over, um, which is pretty cool. Well, anyways, hope your Saturday's going well. I'm headed home and uh, have a good day.